Hi everyone, it's Greg Flyshaker. Greg's fly to my friends, and I made a short video about a green glass that I made that looks just like that. So let's get started. First, gather a little bit of clear glass out of the furnace, and now I'm gonna add small pieces of green glass to that clear glass, and I'm gonna heat it in. And I'm gonna add a little bit more green, and I'm gonna heat it in. I won't show you every time I go to the heating chamber, but I want to give you an idea of what it looks like. So green glass is melted in. I'm gonna give it another heat, and then I'm gonna get a little bubble in there. And if you know what you're looking for, you'll see the bubble grow a little bit, but it's really not visible right now. And now I got another gather of clear glass, and I'm going to shape that with a wood block that I keep wet. And you can see it'll start to smoke, and then I'll get it wet again. So that shapes it up. Now I'm holding one end down, and I'm blowing the bubble. And now I've turned it upside down again, so it stretch out. So you want to get the bubble the right shape. Then you want to start stretching into the form that you're looking for. And now I'm just pulling the bottom out. That's going to be where the bottom of the glass is, where I'm pulling. And I'm using tools to stretch it, using heat to stretch it, and the combination to stretch it. So you can start to see the glass shape starting to take shape. And then I just put in the jack line, that constriction right there, that's going to be the mouth of the piece, and that's where it's going to break off the glass blowpipe. So I'm still working on the bottom here, stretch it out a little bit more. Every time I get up there, I'm going back to the heating chamber, but I didn't want to show you that because it's kind of boring. So stretch it some more, shape it some more. Knock this off because that's not really part of it. That's just what I used to hang on to to shape that glass. So knock it off right there. So when you're working with glass, it'll go back and forth between being cold enough to break, hot enough to work with, and that's part of the artistry and craftsmanship of being a glass blower. So shaping up the sides of the vase or the glass, shaping up the bottom, and a couple steps here just to make sure I get it where I want it. And now I got to turn the piece over so I can work on the mouth. So you get the bottom the way you want it get the heat where you want it, and now I have to turn it over. So you'll see I had a blow hose there, I just put that away. Now this is called a punty, I attach it to the bottom. You want it hot enough to stick, but not so hot that it fuses on, so I have to let that go at some point, and then you pop it off the pipe. I'm heating it back up, you can see where I added a little heat, and now I want to center it a little bit, make sure it's going to sit flat, and now I start working on the mouth of the piece, thinning it out, opening it up, you can see where it's orange, that's where the heat is. Where it's green, that's where it's cooled down. So again, another piece of glass that I used to hang on to to help me shape. I don't want it on there anymore, so I knock it off. I'm going to keep heating it and keep opening it. A little bit at a time. And now watch the sides of the piece. I use this, it's called a puffer. So I sort of blow that out. Not sort of, I did. I blew it out using that puffer, increased the volume of the shoulders. And now I'm trying to get the sides to be pretty straight, pretty even. It is handmade. I'm not that good, so it's not going to be perfectly straight. Good enough. That's about as good as I can do. And now i got to get it off the punty. Boom. No problem. And I'll torch the bottom just a little bit to soften and melt out the sharp edges there. Put it away. Sorry for the grimace there. That oven is around 900 degrees, so it's still pretty hot. Green glass for you.